Welcome back to Tech Tip Thursday, and this week I'm going to actually go through, I'm going to stick with the common theme of uh, photo processing, but this week I'm going to actually stick with um, a photo processing app that's available for your laptop or for your desktop computer. So this would help you process those photos that come in off of your SLR camera or off of a point and shoot camera, something that's not your cell phone that doesn't have built-in apps to process uh, your photography. Uh, this is where you take that memory card, throw it into your computer, and uh, process them uh, and keep them actually a little bit larger because when you are taking photos on your phone, they're going to be smaller and they're going to be a little bit compressed as well. So when you're shooting from a point and shoot or your SLR, uh, these things are going to typically be a, more of a lossless format and um, a higher resolution as well. So if you go look up uh, Nick FX, Nick Collection, uh, you'll see, you'll come to this page here, and the nice thing is this app is completely free, and you do not need Photoshop uh, to run these, although these actually do run as a plugin inside of Photoshop if you do have that, so you can combine the two if you want to, um, but they are standalone apps, and you can process your photography completely uh, you know, with, aside from Photoshop. So um, uh, this, let me go ahead and show you what the bundle includes here. Uh, this actually includes Analog Effects Pro, which gives you kind of a retro looking feel to a lot of your photos, something kind of a little more like Instagram. Um, Color Effects Pro, this is the one I use a lot. This is uh, a really full featured photo editor and uh, it's pretty much a digital darkroom. Um, so this can get you pretty much anything that you want done to your photo, any kind of style, any any kind of treatment, anything pulled out or enhanced, uh, you can do that through Color Effects Pro. Uh, Silver Effects Pro, in my opinion, is one of the best black and white uh, processing apps that's out there, and the fact that it's free makes it even better. So uh, try this. I'll, I'll run you through this a little bit, but uh, this is one of the best back, black and white uh uh, photo processors I've ever seen. Uh, Viviza is a little bit kind of like a lightened version of Color Effects Pro. It just really works strictly on taking a certain color and either increasing the saturation, decreasing the saturation, or altering the colors a little bit. Uh, it's a little kind of a lightweight uh, version of Color Effects Pro. Uh, HDR Effects Pro is actually something that's really nice to get you that look of kind of a multi layered image, um, something where you'd take like two or three or five or seven exposures and stack them all on top of each other. But you can do this with a single exposure. And it works really well for landscapes, um, you know, kind of a architecture photography. It works great for stuff like that. Uh, Sharpener Pro will bring out a lot of really good details out of your photography. Um, as you can see the example here, just, you know, water droplets, uh, you know, a lot of macro photography this thing really helps with. Uh, define is uh, something for if you're shooting in a little bit lower light situations. Um, this actually helps to uh, conceal some of that grain that you're going to get and that noise um, that's just inherent in shooting in low light situations. This helps kind of blur it out, kind of blend it in a little bit. Uh, pretty nice. Um, so moving on, uh, the App is, all these apps themselves don't take much of a computer to run, actually. You don't have to have a, a powerhouse. Uh, you can see down here at the bottom, you've got a, a few specifications for these, um, which, you know, isn't much. Um, and uh, this is, like I said, it's a full free, uh, free set of, of tools here. So go ahead and download those um, when you get a chance. And I'm going to walk you through, uh, right now, I'm going to go ahead and walk through uh, Color Effects Pro. I'm going to skip Analog Effects Pro because that's uh, you know something that maybe if uh, you like that you know the retro look, um, you can definitely play with some of those filters and just see. Uh, the whole thing about this is uh, you know just kind of uh, play around with some of these with some of these filters and just see what happens. You know, um, as far as uh, hey, uh, you know what 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 does this that filter do? And um, but I'm going to show you here. I'm not going to walk you through every single filter that's in here. Uh, what I'm going to do is actually show you just kind of the overall interface. And you can see here on the left side, there is a bunch of filters that you can throw on here. 
Um, on the right side over here, you'll see the adjustments for each one of those filters. You can stack up as many of those filters as you want over here on the right just by clicking this Add Filter button, and then that'll open a new kind of blank tray for you to throw a new uh, filter into. Um, right now, I've got looks like I've got ble uh, default bleach bypass kind of turned on, and uh, this is kind of a cool thing. Um, you know, it gives you kind of a crunchy look. And uh, uh, but I want to show you a couple things down here. Let's say you are adjusting your photo, and you want this effect to just kind of be on one part of it. Uh, use these control points. You can hit a plus just to add that into a certain area. And then this top little slider gives you a little kind of like a, a radius of what area that's affecting. And um, that's a nice way to just add, strictly add that effect to something. And then if you want to, let me go ahead and delete that guy. You can delete it by clicking on that control point, hitting the trash can. Um, if you want to apply this to the entire image, you can have it apply to the entire image and then you can subtract it from certain areas. Uh, let's say you just want to bring in that blue sky a little bit up here and uh, don't have it, you know, bleach out that, that blue sky. Uh, you can go ahead and do that and this works so kind of on like a color selection up here. And um, so this is a really good thing to also keep in mind. The other thing too here is this opacity slider. This adjusts that effect over the entire course of the image. So if you only want it to affect it about 50%, usually 100% is too strong for a lot of these things. So, you know, maybe you go in and just back that down to 50, 60%, something like that. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and cancel out of, of Color Effects Pro here. And I'm gonna open up Silver Effects Pro. And this is, this is definitely a, uh, a super fun one. Um, you'll you'll see what I mean when uh, when you see the uh, some of the work you can do, some of the black and white work you can do with this guy. It's really awesome. Um, on the left here, you've got all these presets, and it's sometimes nice just to pick one of those and you know start playing with it right off the bat. And then you can go in here and and start to adjust these things on the right hand side. This is just a great black and white photo editor. A lot better than in even in Photoshop when you just say, hey, convert this to black and white. This gives you so much more control over every adjustment that's in here and you can get exactly that look you're, you're striving for. So HDR FX Pro is a, is a great app and it gets you this really nice kind of, uh, you know, surreal scene a lot of times. Um, but many times this is pushing stuff way too far. Um, when it comes to an HDR app, uh, HDR treatment to a photo, don't go too far with it. Everyone always does, um, you know, and at first, and then they'll back it off to a point where they'll, they'll say, okay, this is, this is where I need to be somewhere in here. Um, you know, so, you know, mess with this a little bit and, and definitely push it too far to see where it's at. But before you save that thing off and say, Hey, this is where I want it, you know, something like this. You know, just just come back to it. Go go eat a snack or something. Come back to it and uh, and then just look at it again. And, and you'll probably notice, oh my gosh, I went way too far with that. Um, so, you know, just try to try to you know use this lightly and sparingly, um, but you know with a purpose. Don't just go in there and throw this effect on there and and call it good because there's a lot of I call it kind of a crunchy look, but um, there's a lot of photography out there that's way too far with this especially real estate photography um, this is nice because it lifts up details into in shadows and and brings back details into super highlights and brights uh, but at the same time you can go too far with this uh, so I hope this helps um, it's a great set of plugins here and they're free and uh, you know they're, they're, apparently they're not going to add any new features to these um, anytime soon. They don't have anything in the works, but as far as where they're at right now, this is, you know, this is where digital photography is at right now, and this is a full set of tools that can get you a really nice look um, currently, and unless things change in the digital photography world, um, you know, these don't really need to change at this point. This is a perfect darkroom for you to mess around in. So I hope you enjoyed this week's um, 
uh, walkthrough on these. And uh, if you have any questions over any of these features that are in any of these plugins, definitely throw them in the comments section below, and and uh, I'll answer them. I've uh, pretty much I've messed with these things for about three years now, and um, so I, I know them pretty well, and probably processed over 500 photos with these guys. So uh, definitely put any questions down in the bottom, and if you have any questions. Um, you know, concerning digital photography, uh, definitely throw those in the bottom in the, down below as well, and uh, I'll address those as well. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you in two weeks. Thank <laughs> you.